Uh, speaking of the market itself, let's go in, let's evaluate some things. The Dow is up 160 points. S&P right now trading at 1883, which is going to be up about 18, almost 19 points. Uh, that's a bullish move in the markets. And we'll watch to see if we get some follow through to that. Uh, as we can see here that we're moving up towards the 20 moving average. Am I frantically running around ready to jump into positions right now? No. Why not? I, I got no clear direction here on what the S&P is going to do. Right? I need to give this a little bit of time. Let's watch to see now some interesting stocks uh, and what they're doing based off of what the S&P is doing. Uh, the first one is going to be Apple, which gapped right up to where? Right to its 10 moon. And then did what? Started to retrace a little bit. So Apple is going to be my first candidate here for a trade this morning, going in and jumping in to put options on Apple. And guys, this will be one we'll do a value menu play on. The 96 put trading at $1.87. I'll pick that up uh, right here, and as we look at what Apple's doing, and those of you that are here in class, you're seeing what we talked about yesterday, the speed that I can move from research, uh, identifying a candidate, researching a candidate, to executing a trade, literally just happened there in a matter of seconds. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that I really love the eSignal platform, the way it's integrated, the way I can move and customize things so that I can move literally from uh, ooh, here's a candidate to ooh, I need to pull the trigger happens uh, within seconds. So what we've done here is we've picked up put options on Apple. My stop will be a move above the first five-minute candlestick, which is above $95 a share, which incidentally happens to also be above the 10 moving average. So all I'm doing here is catching a stock that has gapped because of the market, Okay, and that's the only reason it's gap. The only reason that Apple and the rest of the market is gapping here is that somebody came out and they said, hey, uh, four countries in the Middle East might be cutting production on oil. And that made oil pop up. And the rest of the market was like, well, when oil goes up, the market goes up. And everybody jumps in and they buy it. What in the world does Apple have to do with oil? Nothing. More importantly, Apple used that news to gap up to a major area of resistance and what direction has Apple been trending? Down. So a stock that's trending down gapped up to a level of resistance. Sign me up for that dance. Right? I like that. Now, again, I will get out if we trade above $95 a share, but I really don't want to sit here and stare at this chart. So I'm going to right-click on the chart, set alerts, and set an alert right at $95 a share. Uh, again, one of the things I love about this platform, it gives me the ability to go in and manage data very rapidly. Like all I did was right-click right on the chart. I didn't have to type in, uh, I wanted to learn, I wanted it $95, and I didn't. No, I right-click on the chart, set the alert, move on to whatever else I'm doing in the e-signal platform. 